What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Another bench video for you guys because you guys love my bench videos, but I want to give you guys a workout that I typically do on a bench day, a chest day alone, on how I max out, not max out, but how I lift heavy alone. And a lot of you guys, maybe you don't wanna push it that far. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I typically do my chest workouts and still gain strength without having a spotter, without having a bench partner. We are in the hyperbolic time chamber, all right? So ears, focus, eyes, watch. Let's get to it, pay attention, hit that like button, let's go. So we all warm up chest on chest day, right? But how many of you warm up your shoulders, warm up your back, warm up your hips, glutes? Because at the end of the day, these are all things that help with your bench. Yes, your glutes help with your bench. If you have tight hips, it's gonna make benching harder. You know, understand, you know, coming out right here, trying to get a solid base of focusing on warming up those shoulders as well, warming up the back. So one thing I like to do to start out my bench workouts is this machine right here, the rower, all right? I do about a minute, three sets of a minute, just a casual roll for the first one, and I uh, do it three times. And as I continue on, first set, casual, second set, pick it up, third one, and we're gonna pick up the pace, all right? So we're gonna do this three times. Warm-ups make or break a session for me. I could under warm up and I can over warm up. Over warm up is a sense of fatigue to the point to where, you know, it's it's not just the one, it's, it's pretty much the workout. Um, and there has to be a happy balance with your warm up. Um, you want to put all your maximum effort in the actual um, exercise you're doing. So the thing about these warm ups is you really gotta pace yourself correctly and uh, don't overdo it. But you also wanna be primed and ready for the lift, for the exercises, uh, for, the, for the workout. We got standing vert, med ball presses to the floor, chest presses, right, so right here, full extension each time. What you wanna do is you wanna fully push that back all the way. Like you don't wanna just be right here, you wanna be boom, all the way, get that back. You'll feel a stretch in your back. We'll do this 10 times. Ball all the way to the chest and then fully extend. You gotta think of it this way. When you're training by yourself, you honestly don't have room for error. You can't you can't be under a bench and mess up because you know you might tear a pec, something might go wrong with your muscles. You know, your muscles and joints kind of like do funny stuff sometimes. It might just be a freak accident. So you need to take your warm up serious and, you know, do three or four things to be primed and ready and just make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. But we're on our second set. We got three sets of this, so 30 reps all together, set to 10. What this also is gonna do is help with that explosiveness, right? Those quick, fast switch muscles, fast switch fibers that we need to work on to get that bar off the chest. You can add extra to this exercise by grabbing a band behind the back. You'll get a little bit more work in. And what's gonna happen is your pull speed is actually gonna be faster because of the bands. So that's gonna be a plus for you to just to be able to work on that push and the rest push, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go faster now. Ah, 
I appreciate you, yeah, man. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's, what's, good? Good? what's, what's your name? Uh, Marco. Marco? Yeah, Yeah. Trying to get a picture? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Y'all play ball or something? Y'all big as hell, man. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Well, shit, I'm glad I ran into y'all, man. Yeah, Already, man. No problem, bro. Yeah. Already, man. Thank you. Yeah. Already chat, man. If y'all ever see me in public, man, don't be don't be scared to, to say something. I be hating when I be seeing a video. I like I put up a video and then somebody will message, man, I want to say something to you and then don't don't you know because they just came from Maryland, you know what I'm saying? So you know, imagine they just, they just didn't say nothing just because they they felt like uh, I don't know I would, I would be some type of way, man. I'm open to talking to everybody, bro. I love y'all, man. Real talk, man. Y'all y'all really would make me, you know, continue to do what I do. But on the last thing for the warm up simple you've seen this before if you watch my videos we're going to do 10 pull aparts two three four five six seven eight nine ten and when you do this what i want you to do is i don't want you to bend i don't want you to bend right here i want you to mm, try to keep those hips forward when you do it because when you when you do this you're, you're trying to create more range of motion by arching your back into your chest you want to be right here because we're already going to start bending our, our, our back and stuff for the for the bench and stuff and creating that but we want to get comfortable right here as we do this so again 10 we're going to do 10 upright and as we're doing the uprights we're trying to pull the band apart a little bit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and they're going to hurt bro it's going to burn and then last up we want to do pull of, I mean, uh, separations. One, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get to that bench. All right, so we are at the bench right now. I have the ability to use like safety rack pins, but in the majority of gyms, you don't have that. So we're gonna do my normal bench routine, um, and then I'll kind of explain what's going on, uh, how I'm feeling, and when to stop. So 135, my normal warm up. We'll hit this for about 10 reps. Top set 405 right now on the par. Is it heavy? Yes. Is it heavy to where the point I feel like I need a spot? No. You know what I'm saying? So we're 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 gauging up to that you know, 85 to 90 percent of my bench max uh, kind of thing, or 80 80 80 80 to 90 percent of my bench max right here, because uh, I consider you know myself you know in, in the 500s. So we're on that upper probably that upper 80 percent on my bench max but we're gonna hit this for about, uh, probably about three, three reps. And depending on where I wanna be, we might stay here for three reps for, th for three more sets, or I might go up and try to pump out uh, three sets for two. Just might stay here for three. So the reason why I'm staying here is one, I feel a little nag in my left shoulder. So even 405 might be pushing it, but I'm gonna take this next set with 405 a little bit, you know, a little bit more cautious. See how I feel before I hit two more sets after that. Definitely not going up right now, but since we're still in that max, that max, almost that pretty much that max effort area of my percentage of my one rep max for a uh, set of three. I'm getting like, a lot of strength work still done. This is what's called pretty much a period set. And then we work all the way to our top set and then we're gonna stay there and, and work. work um, I don't really work back down, 
I just kind of stay at my top set and then work around that top set for me. But if this was to be difficult, 405, if 405 doesn't work, I would drop it down to about 380 and then keep it there. So one thing you'll notice that even at this weight, 405, um, I don't use clamps. Do I recommend not using clamps? I mean, of course, no. But let's just say just in case something bad happens, just, just in case. Um, and to do this, you need to be an advanced lifter to do this. You need to be able to control the weight as you're lifting it. Even at the worst case scenario, you still need to be in control even if it's heavy and it's tough for you to finish out the rep. But let's just say I, you know, I can't get that rep up. I can just dump the weight to the side, you know, unrack it, dump the weight, and then put the bar up. Let's say if nobody was around, because if I had clamps on here, I'd be kind of, you know, screwed or, you know, or something. I would have to like try to roll it down or thrust it some kind of way. But um, you see in a lot of my videos where I don't use clamps because a lot of times I'm training by myself. Um, but once again, this is only people who are lifting heavy by themselves. You got to be smart, you got to be advanced, and you got to know a weight. You have to use a weight that you can control no matter what. All right. <sighs> 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 How I would describe doing this um, last three sets is pretty much, I know I can do four or five for six reps. So let, let's, let's, let's go based off a six reps max. You know, maybe I could do seven or eight if I'm like really hiked up off that, you know, that uh, some smelling salts. But um, six reps, I can definitely do a four or five. So pretty much whatever your six rep max is, we're cutting that in half to three all right so just uh you know in case like percentage wise you guys want to have a ideal of of what would be a you know borderline kind of uh weight to use so i did a little maxing out for the instagram you know something simple 475 you know some light but uh when i'm done with my bench session or done with my heavy stuff i like to drop down to my body weight and just rep out as many as i can um just to you know get a little bit of volume work but it's more so of but muscular endurance um, because you know even with that strength I need continuous power throughout my bench so we're going to just try to wrap this out we want to try to get you know 15 to 20 uh, that's the goal for finishing off this bench workout all right everybody so what you see right now i don't really do much accessory work uh due to just me playing sports and believe it or not benching is actually can be become a negative if you if i do too much chest training because it creates tightness in this area and for this it, and shoulder issues as well and I need all of this to be able to do rotational stuff, to be able to press, and doing too much pressing keeps this, the force from this. It's, it's weird because even though it's strong right here, I still need to be explosive right here. And doing too much chest work, growing a big chest, will uh, decrease my chances of being very powerful in those pushes of very quick. And um, I don't do like a lot of accessory stuff. It's just meant more so just strength stuff to maintain um, being strong and being explosive in the chest. So uh, those days right now for the bodybuilding style stuff are kind of like, it's not done, but I just don't do it as often. Uh, I'll do it for you guys, this video, uh, you know, if you guys wanna grow chest or something like that, but this video is specifically for strength, uh, but I'll still do like dips and uh, things like that. Push-ups, explosive push-ups, um, you know, just stuff that trying to keep it, you know, from like a powerlifting to athletic as much as possible. Uh, but like flies and stuff like that, I really won't do. 
Uh, but appreciate you guys for tuning into the video. If you guys are interested, man, which I know you are, Transparent Labs, use code Aftermath. <laughs> I wanna say Aftermath. Transparent Labs, use code Tehran. Uh, first off, this shaker bottle, at least, at least grab this shaker bottle because there's a, I've never had a shaker bottle with a lock on it. So like, you gotta unlock it, which comes in clutch. Oh, did I unlock it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, unlock it, which comes in hella clutch, man. And then we have our carbs. So I, I was powered off of our carbs today. Hold on, hold on. I was powered off our carbs right now, the bulk pre-workout. And then um, we're going to take our post and creatine right now. So definitely use code Tehran. Appreciate you guys for supporting me. Definitely support the brand. I would not put you guys on to something I didn't believe in. And I truly believe in Transparent Labs. So appreciate you guys. Hit that like button. Catch you later. What's up, yo? <laughs> I need another pick. <laughs>